if the system is not working as required uh, somewhere the other Sabha are the fundamental units which roll up to the ward committee. So, a given ward can be divided, say, up to 10 to 12 areas, and each area demographically can have about 1,500 to 2,000 household units. And when we all that particular area one discusses together, get few active citizens together, and then decide uh, what are the issues that are cropping up on a regular basis, etc. And I believe ward committees are definitely has to be apolitical because it is at the ward level and citizens have to be built. See, one part is if the system is not working as required, somewhere the other system comes, right? That is where the citizens are participating. Do we need so many movements? May not be actually. If the system works to the right extent, if a healthy body is pumping it, doing its function, you don't need any support. If the heart weakens, that is when a pacemaker is required, right? So what is happening is the lakes are just getting encroached. The urbanization is increasing into such a rampant pace. I think somewhere the citizens also feel, let's say, after being an IT city, after paying so much of tax, etc., they still find that there's so much of corruption, there is so much system apathy, etc. I think then, and there is also a sense of pride, right, when you do for the service as a, to the society, there is a sense of happiness speaking here. That is something intangible. Every common man wants the basic facilities around to be resolved and better. And they also join hands if required. So come join us. We'll all unite as citizens and work towards resolving civic issues. Let's get some transparency in the system, good governance in the system. Who doesn't want it?